Hey everybody, it's Ramona, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're going to talk about the new scents from the 2023 Fall and Winter Catalog. Again, I apologize for the mess and the lighting might not be great. I did not turn my ring light on because I'm wearing my glasses because I'm not supposed to be wearing my contacts for 10 days. And um, I did wear them yesterday and I wasn't supposed to. So I'm going to try to be good the rest of the la the last eight days and not wear my contacts. I just have a little infection, in one, not infection, inflammation in one eye, I guess, sort of infection. Again, off topic, let's talk about wax. So as I said, these are the 10 new scents from the fall winter catalog, 2023, really exciting. We did get a little sniffing done at SFR. They had kind of like a booth situation set up kind of like about the size of a kitchen cupboard but with front glass area and inside was a warmer with the wax warming and on the front of it was plexiglass there was a little hole on, on the front of the plexiglass that you could move the little opening you know open close and so you could put your nose in and get a sniff it wasn't a great sniff but it was a start but anyway I do have the full bars I've not melted any of them yet uh but um, they also will be going in the Sensi Saturday rotation. Um, we have oh, tomorrow, Saturday. So this week and next week, we're going to be finishing the Harvest Collection on Sensi Saturday. And then we'll jump in and do these um, the next f few weeks or so. It'll probably take us three weeks or so, something like that. Anyway. So to get started, we have Palo Santo and cinnamon. Kind of like a beigey, a beigey tan wax. Uh, this is, oh, I can smell that. Palo Santo energizes Italian bergamot accented with clove leaf and cinnamon bark. So Palo Santo, bergamot, clove, and cinnamon. And I love Palo Santo. I especially love a candle that's out there um, in Palo Santo. Last year, I can't remember if it was Bring Back My Bar or what the occasion was, but since he did a Palo Santo and um, it was pretty good. I liked it. I didn't love it as much as that candle, but it was good. This is good. I'm definitely getting the clove and I'm getting some bergamot, that thing that makes me think of cologne. So it, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um... I don't, you know, strongly dislike it. On cold, I don't love it, but we'll see what happens when we warm it. Midnight Mahogany. And just the name alone is giving me the willies because of that, a candle by that name with mahogany in it that I can't do. This is Juicy Black Plum and Cinnamon Leaf Brighten Up Dark Mahogany on a Secluded Moonlight Stroll. So Black Plum and Cinnamon Leaf with Dark Mahogany. And it's a brown wax. It's okay, actually. It's okay. I'm definitely getting the black plum, which is saving this for me. Um, and what my head and nose interpret as ma mahogany from, you know, a previous candle. I'm not getting that off-putting note for me right now, but... On cold, I, I'm kind of liking that actually. That's not a bad one at all. Red Current Wreath. Obviously a red wax. And this is Red Current and Winter Berries Spice Up Interwoven Evergreen and Sandalwood Branch. So again, there's that, what for me is like a quintessential Christmas scent of berries, whether it be currants or... Um, cherries or you know cranberries and an evergreen scent so it is the berries and evergreen with sandalwood oh this is nice i like this you definitely you can smell everything you smell the berries you smell the evergreen and then the sandalwood kind of takes it kind of warms it up a little bit or takes the astringency away from the evergreen note. 
So while you can still smell the evergreen, it's not a really sharp evergreen. So that's a thumbs up. Golden Garland, a bright orangey yellow golden wax. Forest pine needles intertwined with marigold petals, sparkling orange and a twist of golden and a touch of golden musk. Now to me, marigolds were always a stinky flower. Hmm, also, I'm liking this surprisingly. So pine, marigold, orange, and musk. I do get the pine. The pine is coming out front and center, which I'm not mad about because I'm afraid, I was afraid that the marigold would be too much of a floral, too stinky floral. I'm not getting any orange, but I do get a little bit of a kind of a musky warm note. So that's also a thumbs up. So far, I mean, the only one I'm kind of not sure about is Palo Santo and cinnamon, but we'll see how it goes. Fall feeling. Kind of like a burnt orange wax. Fresh blood orange and sugared cranberry cozy up with juniper sprigs and a dash of sparkling clove on a perfectly crisp day. Okay, blood orange, cranberry, juniper, and clove. Oh, this I think is my favorite so far. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely getting, I'm getting the blood orange. It's not really a, it's not a really bright, juicy citrus, but more of a, let me get a little fly in here. Kind of like a, Not a juicy, bright citrus, but more of kind of like a a deeper, warmer citrus, if that makes any sense. And maybe it's the sugared cranberry or the clove that's making it's the clove, blood orange and clove. Juniper, not getting any juniper, but I think uh, that's my favorite so far. Fall feeling. Then we have dashing through the snow. And this is irresistible vanilla and creamy mahogany will leave you swooning under fresh night skies. Oh, wow. I never, ever thought I would say this about anything with mahogany in it, but I really like this. And I probably need to get that. I need to get that out of my head because it's, you know, interfering with, you know, my perception of what I'm smelling. This is my favorite. Wow, this is my favorite. This could go in a my uh, Scentsy Club. So I'm getting a woodsy note. I'm getting a kind of a creamy vanilla note, and the fresh sky, the fresh night skies, is just kind of like a very fresh body wash kind of feeling. <sighs> this is really good. When this comes out, this is going in my club right away. That's going in my club. Uh, make me snickerdoodle and Jason did not like this one homemade yeah I can smell it homemade cookie dough sweetened with brown sugar and vanilla bean rolled in sugared cinnamon and baked to perfection I love this if you're a bakery fan you're going to love snickerdoodle make me snickerdoodle it's basically a snickerdoodle it's a sugar a cinnamon sugar cookie very, very good. Yep. Exactly what it says. Homemade sugar, cookie dough, brown sugar, vanilla, cinnamon sugar. Yep. Yep. Uh, frosted cedar is red delicious apples adorn towering white cedar in a blanket of creamy vanilla. Apples, cedar, and vanilla. Oh, also good. I definitely get the cedar first. I'm not sure that I'm getting any apples. No, I don't think I am getting any apples. Uh, mm, no, I'm getting cedar and vanilla. So hopefully when I melt it, the apple will come out. Cranberry and cardamom. This uh, was a lot of people's favorite. 
bold cherry and white cranberry mingle in a festive celebration with a hint of warm cardamom. Cherry, cranberry, and cardamom. Oh, wow, that's really good too. This like is just like Christmas. Christmas in a wax bar. Cherry, I'm definitely getting cherry. The same cherry that's in um, uh, red, white, and berry pie. The same cherry that's in uh, apple cherry strudel. I'm probably missing some, but it's that cherry slash almond slash pistachio scent, but it is very good. I do get a little of a tart cranberry in there though. And then the cardamom just really warms it up. Very, very nice. And finally, we have Frosty Air. Very light blue. Sweet Citrus and Lily of the Valley stay fresh in a flurry of Frosty Air. Now, I am not one for florals. I do like things with Lily of the Valley in it. It's a very light white floral. Not too heady, not too strong. And that is the top note here is the is the floral with fresh air. I'm hoping I'm going to get citrus to go with it. On cold, not so much. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting the citrus on cold, but also very good. And if, if I do get the citrus, it'll be even better. So that's what we have. Um, I would say my favorites would be uh, dashing. And I do like bakery. So uh, make me snickerdoodle is a favorite. And the fall feeling, I would say, are my top three so far. Um Oh, but the cranberry, but uh, this Midnight Mahogany, not so bad. What was, was it Frosted Cedar? No. Nope. Also really good. There was another though, uh, oh, it was Dashing, yeah. So I would say my top three out of this set of 10 are Dashing, Fall Feeling, and Make Me Snickerdoodle. So these will be released on, um, where's my notes here? I think on, I don't have my September. Oh, here I do. Yes, November. Yes, I do. Hang on one second. Yes, October 1, the holiday collection releases. September 1, the Harvest brochure. October 1, the holiday collection. Um, let me take all that back. This is not the holiday collection, which I knew it wasn't because I've said it a couple of times. This is from the new catalog, which will release September 1. So September 1 is the 2023... Um, Yes, I'm so sorry. September 1, the new 2023 Fall Winter Catalog releases and the Harvest Collection also releases on September 1. October 1 is when the Holiday Collection drops and wow, some really good things coming down the pike for that as well. So um, that's that. A couple of reminders. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. The um, August Scent and Warmer of the Month is still available. Pink Leather, I love it. 10% off during the month. Um, the August Starter Kit uh, for Scentsy is amazing, but on top of all of the already amazing goodies in the Starter Kit will be 25 Harvest brochures, the um, Harvest, the Five Bar Harvest Collection, including the little Trick or Treat bag, and the September Warmer of the Month called... Um, Oh, um, Wicked Cute. And it's a little uh, witch scarecrow and super, super cute. So that is still on. And um, the Friends Sofa Warmer is still available. And Monday we'll have a Cinderella collection launching as well. So lots, 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 lots to talk about for Sensi. So anyway, that's it for now. I hope everybody has a fantastic night and I'll see you soon. Bye.